What does it say in the sky? Here on YouTube, I'm often known as the sign guy. Mainly because a couple of years ago, I put a certain sign just outside of Gatwick Airport. It says welcome to Luton. Which caused a little bit of a commotion. Passengers were in a state of panic when they looked out of their windows to see the words welcome to Luton. And from that day on, I became the sign guy. It was you, wasn't it? It was me. <laughs> right, so yeah, yeah. the thing is, it's been a while since that vid, but even though that sign became the most viewed news story around the world, there's one sign out there that's always going to be more famous than mine. The Hollywood sign. And I bloody hate it. It's old, not remotely geographically accurate, and it's not even straight. So, I'm now on a mission to one-up the most famous sign in the world. My goal is to get people to take a picture of my sign, even though they've travelled for the Hollywood sign. What's the distance you'd see it? 20 miles. And prove once and for all that I, the sign guy, can make a sign that will one-up the most famous sign in the world. That's like that's a very expensive message. Yeah. So what was my plan? Okay, I'm currently in London, a long, long way from Los Angeles, but I have thought of a plan. Initially, when I did the Luton thing, I just knocked on houses until I could find someone who would rent me their land. I'm here to talk about some space you've got out here. I've had a look at land prices in Los Angeles, California. Not quite the budget for this video. There's a very limited supply of land in Hollywood. I get that. I tell you what isn't limited in supply the sky. That's right. As I couldn't use my old trick from last time, the plan was to create my sign in the sky using the age-old art of skywriting, an art form that's been used for proposals and sound hygiene advice for over a hundred years. That way, not only will I be able to create a sign that's much bigger than the Hollywood sign, but I'll also be able to position it directly above it, stealing attention from the thousands of visitors it gets each day and crowning myself as the undisputed sign king. I'm not going to be pulling it behind a big plane. I'm not going to be having a banner. No, I plan to make a sign in the sky. The plan is to fly to LA, find someone who does like sky writing, pay them as much money as they ask for, for them to write something. At this point, I don't know what the sign is going to say or what it's going to be, so that I need to work out. And of course, it's not enough to just dethrone the Hollywood sign with something normal. I wanted to beat the Hollywood sign with something quite silly. So before jetting off to LA, I did a bit of brainstorming at the Fosh Pit HQ to come up with some signs worthy of the number one spot. But let's leave that reveal to the big day. With the plan in place, I jetted off to California, where I'd set up a call with a skywriting company run by someone with perhaps the most incredible name out of anyone I've previously met on this channel, Christina Jacuzzi. Hey, hey Christina. How are you? I'm fantastic, how are you? Awesome. I talked Christina through my frankly ridiculous plan, and she was more than happy to help me out. We talked through some locations to maximize impact, and she even knew the best spots to view the sign to make sure the tourists of LA were seeing it. In that particular area, for whatever reason, because everybody wants that shot over Hollywood, it's just making sure you have a, a big, large area to to make sure you get a good visual of that. Yeah. And it was sounding like this thing was going to be absolutely massive. So what's the distance at which you could normally see it? 20 miles. 20 miles. 15. Okay. It's going to be so big, you're going to be in the sky. Great. The plan was coming together without a hitch, but there was one thing Christina was worried about that might throw a spanner into the works. I want to make sure that when we're doing this, that we get the best air quality too while we're up above working for you. And, and a lot depends on the winds too. Yeah. You know, it's a pretty big mess. Yeah. But this is LA, right? We don't have to worry about the weather here. Leaving that as a bit of foreshadowing for you all, next on the list was checking out Christina's suggestions for the best viewing angle. There is a lot of space um, above the sign and also to the left of the sign as well. After surveying most of the city, we settled on one of the Hollywood sign's busiest and most popular viewing spots. I think this is the spot that we're going to do it. <laughs> so the Hollywood sign is behind here. The sky is kind of pretty uninterrupted. And there's also lots of people here who probably see the sign. I think this could work. The only question is now, is the weather going to play ball? So, it's the day of the sky writing. Looks perfect. Let's go sky writing. Apparently this blue is not blue enough. Christina has called me and said, there's some underlying haze in the sky. I'm like, it's perfect. Well, I guess they're the experts. They know what they're talking about. So, annoyingly, wait for the weather apparently tomorrow is going to be better. With my flight home booked also for tomorrow, I was cutting things pretty close. But hopefully tomorrow it's more blue than this. I don't know. 
Either way, I'm just making my way downtown. And whilst I was killing time in LA, I checked out the venue that I was going to be performing on my Loophole World Tour that is literally starting this week. It's a show that is about the biggest loophole that I've ever found. One that's so big that I can't share it on YouTube. I recently did a work in progress run in Edinburgh and people absolutely loved it. So get your tickets now before they sell out in your city. It really is the best way to support the channel. Tickets are 25 quid and they're the same no matter where you sit. So it's better to get your tickets as soon as possible. My canvas awaits. It's the day of the sky writing. I think it's blue enough. There is like an underlying bit of fog, but I think we might be okay. Oh, pardon me. I met up with a team who'd come to help me capture some imagery of the sign. Hey, buddy. It's looking good. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And the burning question on our minds, how visible would it be? It's getting bluer by the second, which is good. You can see what they mean by the haze, like, and hopefully, I mean, we've still got quite a lot of time, like, hopefully it burns off. But one thing was for sure, this was definitely the place to be for anyone who wants a photo with the Hollywood sign. Seems like this is the sign spot. I even got chatting to someone who tried to take on the Hollywood sign at this very spot years earlier. You came here and you made a sign for your fiancé at the time. Yeah. I was supposed to come here for the engagement. Why I don't uh, order like a plane with a, a banner, you know? But my new friend Richard triggered a new fear inside of me. I ordered from France, so I'm not, you know, uh, maybe he's not gonna come, who knows? I and then you just saw it. And everything, so I was here, uh, <laughs> like this. And so what if my plane didn't show up? What if Christina Jacuzzi isn't the greatest name of all time, but a cleverly crafted alias designed to scam unsuspecting silly YouTubers? Like, we're a bit worried. We've got 10 minutes to go until the plane is meant to be coming over the horizon. We don't know how visible it's going to be. I swear I can hear a plane, but I can't see one. We were but just it was like over there. <laughs> we just turned around and we're like, oh no. But then, right on cue, I can hear a plane. I know, I was like trying to find it. Oh, there it, oh my god, there it is. My paintbrush had arrived. This is going to be massive. I really hope he just does the cock and balls. <laughs> the sign writing had begun and my pilot was blistering across the sky. Doing the tea right now, people are starting to be like, what the hell is going on? What the hell is that? And my Christina Jacuzzi slander was long forgotten. But as the sign got bigger, so did the crowd. As everyone started gathering to find out what was going to be written. What does it say in the sky? Crowds upon crowds are turning up now. Slowly my masterpiece was unveiling, and the Hollywood sign that everyone had travelled for was falling into obscurity. <laughs> doing a lowercase, lowercase h. That is extra silly. <laughs> I'm a fan of that. He's not even pointing at the Hollywood sign. It was official. The droves of people that had come here for a glimpse of the greatest sign in the world had got just that, but it wasn't the one they were expecting. I think he's going to do a lowercase r as well. Uh, it's the right. silliest right. skywriting I've ever seen. <laughs> Here comes the O, right above the Hollywood sign. As the plane took the final turns, it was time for the entire sign to be unveiled. What did I pay to have written in the sky? Well, if I was a thousand feet in the air flying a plane, scribbling in the sky, what's the silliest thing that I could write? And for that, there was only one answer. Where is your brother? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's something nuts. But I guess he can't please everyone. This is a bit of a funny joke that he doesn't know where the airport is. It's not Hi. very funny, is it? What is that? Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs>